DIY for and I've got a couple of quick easy dollar store decor ideas for you today. Always love going to the dollar store, always end up spending way too much time there, but it's just great to rummage around and take a look at what I can transform and kind of turn it into something that might look a little more expensive in the house. So that's what I did for you today. So I found this air dry clay at the dollar store for $8.50. You will want a spray bottle with some water, a candle. I did use a flower pot and a knife. So this air dry clay, I decided to turn it into a couple of different items. I first split some clay into three pieces and the idea here was to create a new kind of clay pot. So I'm rolling them out in three different strands. I braided it together very carefully and I was really excited about wrapping this around Around the pot and creating a new pot but it completely failed it cracked on me so I would suggest not attempting that however the other two items I was really happy with I created a new candle holder for this tea light and I simply just had a big ball of clay making that shape and circle to fit the size of my tea light and trimming off the top there so just fitting it in nicely I did end up making mine too tight try and make it loose enough that you can replace that tea light afterwards I just kind of cut it into a geometric shape with my knife so cutting off random pieces uh, really no rhyme or reason to this it does take a while it's a little tedious to try and get everything smoothed out with that knife and create those crisp edges but um, it was really cool when it was all done and you can use some water to kind of smooth out any dry rough edges as well the other idea I had was turning these into either little ornaments or you can use them as something to put a picture in as well. So just flatten out a piece of clay, again cutting it into a geometric shape. I also did a triangle, kind of replicating the same style that I did with the candle holder. And you can see I'm using a little bit of water on my finger there to smooth out any rough edges. So before this dries, you need to cut a slit in the top with just a knife. And that is where your picture or piece of paper will stand up and hold in. And once these were dried overnight, I did add some paint. Unfortunately, I just don't have any video footage of it. These are the paints that I used on the clay though. Uh, for my second DIY, this is a wood canvas that I picked up at the dollar store using some tape and just some paint brushes, my X-Acto knife there to make my edges exact. So you can do whatever design you want on this. I went with some triangles, taped on the white one, painted it. Now the black one, and just make sure you're pulling off that tape before the paint dries. Then next, allow both of those to dry if you're going to replicate this idea because you're taping over the paint and I am creating kind of a gold uh, arrow between the two of them. So you need to paint over the colors that you've already done. And then you just, again, fill it in with some paint and you can touch up the edges with a thin paintbrush and you're all done. Which one was your favorite? They're just a couple of small, easy, quick ideas that you can use as decor pieces around the house. If you did enjoy this DIY and you'd like to see more dollar store decor ideas, I'd be happy to do that for you. Let me know if you're interested by giving this video a like so I know that you'd like to see more. Don't forget that you can always follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and if you try out any of my DIYs, definitely send me a photo there and use the hashtag 2DIY for. Tag me in those photos because I'd love to see what you make. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next Wednesday with a new DIY. Cheers. Bleh, that's not, no. Those clouds are really pissing me off.